And Megan, police know exactly how the latest shooting transpired because they have the pictures. Much of the ambush was captured on surveillance cameras. Authorities say the killer, a former sergeant in the Marines, traveled from his home in Kansas City to Baton Rouge just to carry out these attacks. They believe he spent days surveilling police headquarters, planning his assault. Then early Sunday morning, lured police to a shopping center where he used a rifle to open fire, unloading 25 to 30 shots, killing officers Matthew Gerald, Montrell Jackson, and Deputy Brad Garofalo. Police say the killer was affiliated with an anti-government group and posted social media messages complaining about police treatment of African Americans. President Obama condemned the killings and then called on politicians to cool the, quote, inflammatory rhetoric. If that request was aimed at Donald Trump, it did not work. Trump, who calls himself the law and order candidate, accused the president of lacking leadership and said that something's going on. Watch. I watch the president and sometimes the words are okay, but you, you just look at the, the body language. There's something going on. I look, there's something going on. Several police unions believe President Obama is making things worse by validating what they call the false narrative of the anti-cop sentiment. The New York Times recently wrote that when it comes to race and policing, the president is conflicted, quoting, Mr. Obama has sought to use the authority of his office to amplify and support the emerging Black Lives Matter movement while struggling not to become an unwitting megaphone for anti-police sentiment. Police unions are now pushing for Hillary Clinton to denounce the Black Lives Matter movement. Today, Clinton called for condemning cop killers and also changing police departments. Watch. That means investing in our police, in training on the proper use of force, especially lethal force. How to avoid using force to resolve incidents. Clinton says now the country needs her experience. Trump says the country does not need her bad judgment. Megan. Trace, thank you. Well, my next guest says he doubts we'll make it through this convention in Cleveland without violence in the streets. He also says he understands why the gunman who killed the police officers in Dallas is being described as, quote, a hero by some folks. Malik Shabazz is president of Black Lawyers for Justice and former president of the New Black Panthers group. Thank you, Malik, for being here.